the previous episode of the Iron Man Collector, we completed Monkey Madness 2 and got our first drops from Gorillas. If you haven't already seen that episode, I would highly recommend you give that a watch. Hello again, my friends. Welcome back to the Iron Man Collector. This is episode number 17. Starting off this episode, we have 264 collections logged and we have a Dagonoth task. I really want to try out DKs or at least, you know, camping wrecks this episode because getting a dragon hatchet and, you know, berserkering if I'm lucky would be pretty huge. Also, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you enjoy this episode. I mean, we all saw this coming. I started doing the monkey backpacks. We are almost 600 laps in already and we are hitting 75 agility this is actually great xp like i'm just chilling every time i'm like eating i'm doing this course so very chill 75 agility one more and i can actually do the zulra shortcut which i think would be quite handy at the end of the last episode we got ourselves the dagonoth task i'm probably looking very clueless right now but this is my loadout i am going to try and kill rex I think people do it with less though, like uh, at a very early stage of their account. So I got some super anti-poisons, prayer pots, and some sharks. And uh, let's see how this goes. I think we made it. So we have none of the other other things on us, but these spin lips are, are giving me a hard time. I think this is it. Now I just chill here, wait for it to spawn, safe spot it, and take a lot of damage from the spin lips. Oh, what? Are you serious? There is no way. There is no. Sh what? I what? Chop chop. If you are enjoying this video, would you please consider giving it a like, a comment, and maybe even subscribing to my channel? All those things would help me out a lot. Thank you very much. Yo, we just get a new co <laughs> new collection log. Ooh, four KC. We got the Dagonoth Rex Jr. I am. Uh, what is this account? First, a farming pet. Now we got our first boss pet at 4KC. <laughs> that is that is amazing. It is also automatically insured, so I don't have to stress about this. I. <laughs> that is so nice. Unless I get a food drop, I think my trip here is over. Yeah. There is 28 kills in that one trip. Not bad, honestly, but it's a bit of a pain in the behind to get back there, but uh, we, we need to do it. We need to do it. We need that dragon hatchet, a dragon axe, and we do also want those rings. Our new little friend here will go straight into the collection lock tab. He will be there with his, with his tangled root buddy. Look at that. That is, that is looking nice. Mystery box number 21. What could it be? Ah. Looky here. Mystery box number 22. Any baguettes? No, but I'll take a b -b bucket. Oh, we just hit 95 farming on this on this herb patch. You you know you cannot stop me from farming. I love this skill. I had to take a break from DKs or doing Rex, so I decided to do some quests. We are pretty close to Quest Cape. Not really, but pretty close. But that is Grimtail's done. Some very juicy XP rewards for this one. Do we get any levels? 60 herb and 83 wood cut in. That is that is sweet. And there's another one. Scorpion catcher done. First ring. First ring. Warrior ring. 98 KC. Yes, it's the wrong one, but that is better than the Ring of Wealth I use, usually rock, so I'm very happy with that. And there is the Berserker Ring. We are only missing the Dragon Hatchet now. That is just wonderful. This task is going very, very well. Another quest completed. That is the Wanted. We just got a prayer level just from bur burying bones here. And we just hit 1.7 thousand total as well. This is a nice little milestone. That actually got me thinking I should probably start looking into getting 70 prayer soon for Paieri. That would be a huge leap in in damage. This is your reminder to do your birdhouse runs. We just hit 8500 just by doing these bad boys. 
that is looking mighty fine in the skill tab. Daily quest completion, the slug menace. We get access to the proselyte armors. Got a bit wacky today and did two quests instead. So that is making history complete. Daily quest completion before I go and finish the Dagonoth task that we have. There's great brain robbery with some prayer XP, which is nice, and a XP lamp in herb. Here it is, the final kill of the Dagoneth task, and we get a steel kite shield. Loot is on the screen now. Unfortunately, we did not get a dragon axe. That means that next time we get one of these tasks, I will be coming back here. But I did quite like this. This was a enjoyable task. Now that I have everything from Rex though, I'm wondering what I would need to kill all three of the kings at the same time. Because I would want that arch sweet, sweet archer's ring and the, I guess, seer's ring is okay as well. If you guys have any ideas for that or any tips, please do let me know. Oh wait, I just got 60 fletching. I was holding off that level for some reason. I think that was a quest requirement if I recall correctly. I've been turning my fletching just making arrow shafts and headless arrows so that's cool all right we are kicking back up the questing that is tribal totem and there's another one tale of two cats we now have 264 out of 267 quest points yo this fight was actually pretty difficult it took me a few attempts to get this there we go since the father complete there is one more vampire quest but i think that requires for me to complete the entry mode of Theater of Blood, which I am not able to do, I'm afraid. 266 out of 267 quest points. So that is the last quest of this episode. I think this gives a... Oh, look at that. Look at that. 15k, 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 and 15k. Herblor XP bumping us up to 63 herb. My friends, you know what time it is. It is time to open the caskets that we have gathered during this episode. I just realized we both have huge claws. This guy and this guy. We are 14 quests away from Quest Cape. 267 collections logged. So let's hope for some collection logs here. Starting off with 15 beginner clues. As a little reminder in here in the clue tab. 96 beginners opened with only 4 items. Please, can we get a new item? Let's start. Oh my god, we just got the infamous mole slippers for the fourth time. That is a good start for sure. That has to be. Yep, we just got the shoulder parrot. That is a new item. I cannot even see it, but that is a new one for the collection log. 268, 5 out of 16. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go through these pretty rapidly. Is there anything else? In these caskets ah uh, it looks like a no for that one yep well i am happy that we got something new it seems we have a pretty sad amount of easy and medium clues in this one one easy three mediums pretty good chance for the mediums to get something new easy doesn't give us anything what about the mediums new master scroll book hey there we go armed old miter that is a new one and then okay nothing else and lastly, we have five hard caskets. These are always the exciting part. Let's see if we get anything new here. Pretty tr tragic on the first one. That is some Elks. Elks and Zami Legs. Plus one right there. And anything else? Wow, I just got a Gilded Spear. And that is three new items. Magic Combo, Gothic's ba Page and a Gilded Spear. Please tell me that it's just from the normal items. Uh-oh. That is a rare item. That is a rare item from the hearts. Our first one. That is... Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Hey, I, I guess so. We have a very golden. That was a bit of a turn of events. I wasn't expecting that. But let's open the last heart clue. Okay, nothing new on that. That, <laughs> that caught me off guard. That very much caught me off guard. But hey, 1 out of 24 for the hard rare pieces. And we are at 273 collections logged. And that is it for this episode. In the next one, I am planning to do a lot of quests. And I am going to be heading back to Barrows for at least a few collection logs. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And I hope to see you then. Yaki out. Peace.